Hey everyone, welcome back to the Cyber Mind Show. Today I'll talk about application security posture management. Now this term caught my eye when uh, CrowdStrike acquired a company called Bionic. Uh, although I was learning about application security since early this year, I did some study last year also, but this acquisition was very interesting. And then in May, Gartner came up with a research report on ASPM. Now, this term of security posture management has been new. I've already done some uh, episodes on SaaS posture management, uh, data security posture management. So ASPM definitely became interesting. So what I've done in last few weeks is gone through some of the companies uh, that are working on this domain and uh, looked at their literature. I've read some research reports, etc. and Today's episode is a summary of what I've learned. Okay, let's get started. Now, before I talk specifically about ASPM, you have to understand how application security works uh, on on a high level. So, what happens is whenever an organization is developing an application, and that's what this tool or technology is meant for. What they do is they have various security scanning software that would run at various stages of the software development lifecycle, and they are all running in silos. What that means is there could be some application uh, security tool, or security testing tool AST that would scan the code. Some tool might scan the Terraform templates. Other tool could scan the CI/CD pipeline, uh, the repositories, the registries. Then some tools would scan the cloud uh, posture uh, of uh, of the cloud where the application is getting hosted. And then uh, some tools uh, do penetration testing. Lot of and some of some, and a lot of times, bunch of stuff is done manually also. So uh, DevOps teams and the testing teams, you know, whatever you want to call them, they are also looking for manual ways of finding issues, security issues in the software apart from using these tools, right? So they essentially what happens in in the world of AppSec is there are multiple tools running at various places. Uh, with one single objective, find a security issue so that I don't, as a developer, I don't have to see it in the runtime and I'm, my application is always secure, okay? Now, what ASPM does is essentially aggregates everything, uh, all the inputs from all these tools in a consolidated view and it helps developers and security teams to track these issues using a central workflow engine. That's the summary. It takes data from various tools, does some magic let's call it analytics and gives you a way to work for them now i i know i'm oversimplifying so let's get into the weeds how the technology works is essentially uh, it starts with ingestion ingestion of information from any infrastructure that's involved in the application uh, life cycle or sdlc software development life cycle uh, and this includes uh, intra use for application creation, testing, runtime, and any accounts who have access to. So essentially, it integrates with your CI CD pipelines, tools like Jenkins, GitLab, Azure DevOps, it's Harness, similar tools. Uh, it integrates with your CMDBs and any service catalog, uh, inventory, and uh, then CSPs and container orchestrator, security testing tools, uh, including SAS and DAS platform, mobile uh, ASTs, bug bounty platforms. Penetration testing platforms, ESPM, issue tracking platforms, etc. And as you can imagine, this is done using APIs. And objective is simple: learn as much as you can about the application and their issues reported by tools and it, and any defects that are reported by the teams, and the developers and the testing team. Okay. Once it does that, it you know, it consumes all that data. What happens is there is an analytics engine. What app, the analytics engine does in, in second step, it it connects all the dots, it correlates, it aggregates, removes, duplicates, and it builds an inventory, a map of app and their services, uh, how they are talking to each other, what kind of data is getting uh, used, is it sensitive, is it comp required to be compliant to a particular regulation? Okay, it looks at vulnerabilities it looks at software that it's getting used dependencies of those softwares okay entire software bomb data sensitivity business context 
compliance context and after that algo runs the outcome is a risk score for every application that the platform has seen so essentially in a dashboard what you're getting is application one or list of applications each uh, with their own risk scores based on the correlation algorithm and details of security findings of each of these scores and what you can then do as a developer is create workflows for reputation not just as a developer but also as a security team okay this could mean scheduling tasks for scans uh, instead of doing that on a sas or dast or other pt platforms or any other platform for that matter that can do security testing you can do that using security uh, uh, the aspm platforms okay uh, and then finally you have reporting and visibility which gives a view of tools that are getting used languages application disk cores people who are involved how they are testing how frequently is it getting updated and without all that all this happens without any interference in the development okay so just to recap aspm integrates using apis with various applications or infrastructure that are are used in application development and application security testing application hosting from security context perspective it collects that data the analytics engine aggregates and correlates data to come up with a map of which applications are there what are the security issues around them you can then execute workflows for remediation and this becomes a single pane of glass for you to track everything relevant from application security perspective that's it that's the summary of the aspm platform now some of you might be wondering hey i've heard a lot of these things before it seems they do some of the things that are already there in seen apps so then definitely there's overlap and convergence happening um, what has happened in last few years and you know the way it happens in our industry is some smart people uh, they come up with solutions for issues they start creating these products and eventually companies and as this use cases get bigger and companies uh, you know gain traction with getting new customers and uh, eventually they either get acquired some of them of, of course uh, they die um, but the companies uh, that are uh, that, that are solving the right use cases with the you know uh, enough money and revenue enough customers they survive or and they get acquired and eventually that market also matures right so what's happening in the cnap world and if you're following the cnap space cnap platforms are building these capabilities so instead of just focusing on cloud security posture the cspm cwps and appsec apisec all that is getting converged in cnap i believe in future application sec AS, aspm platforms will also get uh, merged into cnap as a single platform for any cloud native applications now that's again a key thing although not applications are cloud native today but they will be you know i'm talking 5 to 10 years from now most of the applications would uh, migrate to a cloud native architecture okay and uh, also there is some convergence or happening with uh, an overlap of use cases with saas and dat tools so companies that have been there in the saas and dat business they are also trying to bring these capabilities by integrating with other ca platforms in the uh, application development life cycle and application security life cycle to give that consolidated view okay the other question would be around how is it different from cspm versus sspm okay let me clarify that also so cspm as you can imagine uh, focuses on the cloud security posture or security posture of the cloud aspm focuses on security posture of an application so it how cloud security posture management platform works it it integrates with various cloud providers and gives you a single pane of glass to manage all security issues what aspm does it integrates with various application security testing tools and application tools development tools to look at all security vulnerabilities and defects and then 
gives you a pane of glass to merge everything or manage everything sspm focuses on the security posture of saas apps apps that are used you are using but that are not developed by you so that's a key differentiator in aspm is used by organizations mostly large organization who are developing hundreds and uh, thousands of app you know large banks often do that large insurance companies often do that uh, and saas security posture or sspm platforms are used if you are using multiple uh, saas platforms so they all complement each other they they all they are different but complementary approach to manage the security posture of an organization okay a ciso would like to have that view hey uh, what are the uh, what is the exposure that i have with the infrastructure that i'm developing or i'm using uh, tell me the risk and that's what cyber security is all about okay uh, now the benefit of using an aspm is a is tool consolidation so instead of using multiple technologies uh, you can use aspm to uh, uh, you know uh, get rid of some of the tools because aspm platforms come with a native capability also so maybe you can get rid of your tools and integrate with its other tools and eventually with time i know uh, aspm platforms will provide their own capabilities i know of synap platform providers who are going to launch their uh, saas platforms also okay the second benefit of SS, of aspm is noise reduction because of the data correlation as you can imagine so it can take business context uh, uh, example priority of this application for the or the criticality of this application for the business and use that to generate a risk score which helps developer focus on uh, the specific issues and then of course the better collaboration between security and development teams so those are the three key benefits with that thank you so much please like share and subscribe uh, for people who are new thank you uh, for listening to this people who are have been listening to this sometime i have already launched a second podcast in hindi uh, to make it easy for people uh, who speak hindi to learn about cyber security uh, this is called the cyber sutra podcast and it's available on apple and spotify as well as youtube do share with your family friends whoever wants to learn more about cyber with that i'll see you next time